Hi everyone, it's Dr. Ranch here. Yes, I'm in my onesie because I'm working from home today and I just wanted to be cozy and comfortable. Anyway, I'm making this video because I want to talk to you about coronavirus. Lots of parents have been getting in touch to say that their children are really worried or panicked about what they're hearing in the news. So I just wanna set the record straight. So first and foremost, if any little ones are watching this, I just wanna say to you, please don't panic. There's lots of really scary headlines and stuff being said and done in the news at the moment, but sometimes the news makes things sound worse than they actually are. and We don't need to worry quite as much as they're making out, but we do need to be sensible. So let's start off by talking about what coronavirus is. Now, coronavirus is a type of virus. Now, viruses are tiny little germs that are all around us. You can't see them with your naked eye, but sometimes that can get inside your body, cause an infection and make you poorly. And normally, viruses will give you things like coughs and colds, flu, chicken pox, that kind of thing. And our bodies are really good at fighting them off and getting rid of them, and then we get better again. Coronaviruses are a family or a group of viruses and normally they just give you a bit of a cold and then they go away. However, this is a brand new type of coronavirus that we've not seen in humans before and because it's new and we don't know how it's going to behave, everybody's keeping an extra special eye on it and taking some extra precautions. We think this new coronavirus has started off in a particular part of China and it looks like it may have come from animals. That sounds a bit weird, I know. So with viruses, there are some viruses that will just infect animals. There are some viruses that will just infect humans. There are some viruses that will infect both. Sometimes what can happen is a virus that's in an animal can mutate or change, and then it's able to infect humans, what we call jumping species. Now that has happened before with other viruses as well, and that doesn't mean that it's any more serious. However, because it's done that and it's new, we just like to keep an extra close eye on it. For some people, coronavirus, this new one, does seem to be serious. And those people tend to be either older people or those that have long-term medical problems. So far from what we've seen, it hasn't caused any deaths in anyone under the age of 20. In the UK, right here, we've tested over 5,800 people as of today, the 21st of February, and only nine of those have been positive. None of those have died. None of them are children. And the majority of those are either undergoing treatment or they've had treatment and got better. Now, if we compare that, to something like flu, just to put it into a bit of perspective, flu affects millions of people every year around the world. And some of those people can get really, really poorly and even die from it. And that's why it's really important that we take flu seriously because it is much, much more common. And that's why it's really important to have your flu vaccine as one of the best ways to protect yourself. At the moment, we don't have a vaccine against coronavirus, but there are certain things and precautions that we are advising everybody to take. And it's just really, really simple, sensible stuff. First of all, if you've traveled to a particular part of the world, things like certain parts of China and other parts of the world recently, then you may be asked to speak to a doctor or a health professional to get some advice because you may have to stay at home and isolate or quarantine yourself. That means don't be in contact with anybody else for about 14 days. Now, why 14 days? Because that's how long it takes for when you first pick up the coronavirus for it to then show signs of any illness. So if you've been to an affected part of the world and you've not had symptoms for 14 days after you've got back, you've probably not got coronavirus. But you will hear a lot in the news about people being quarantined or told to stay at home. And there's lots and lots of advice online from Public Health England around how to self-isolate or quarantine if you've been told to do that. Now, if you are, if you have been to one of these affected regions and you do get symptoms, then it's really important that you pick up the phone and speak to a doctor or a health professional and get advice and get treatment. 
Now for everybody else, all we are saying is it's the same simple measures that we would advise for something like flu. So that means if you're poorly, if you've got a cough or a cold, then sneeze into a tissue, throw the tissue away, wash your hands, or sneeze or cough into the corner of your elbow and wipe or wash that and throw it away and wash your hands. And just be careful around people that are poorly or people that may be vulnerable, like small children, pregnant women or the elderly. And that's all you have to do at the moment. If there really isn't any need to panic just yet. We're keeping a really, really close eye on how things are going. The UK is really well equipped to deal with something like this and our NHS is really good at doing that and has done really well so far. Now, if you want more information on coronavirus, this is for the grown-ups out there, then just go to the Public Health England website, which has all the latest updates. And I'll put a link to that with this video. So for everyone else, all I'm going to say again is don't panic. Let's just see how this goes and hopefully it will go away and we won't have to worry.